Hey guys, Mike here. So this is the Rockford Fast Kit, six by nine speaker, uh, 130 watt maximum. Uh, it's gonna be this one. Right? So I'm gonna do the unboxing and sound quality. So this is premium sound quality, and also I'm gonna do comparison with the JBL speakers and Infinity Cap is on the way. So we're gonna compare with the Infinity Capas also. So we can the most Alpine doesn't come with the grills, but this one comes with the grills. Um, build quality. Build quality it's okay. 60 watt watt or uh, 65 watt ornaments. This is perfect setup for your stock or aftermarket head unit without any amplifier. Right? We're gonna connect to you know our system and we're gonna listen to music. So how it will be performed. Uh, grill is very nice quality. And the price wise it's I'm gonna put the li links all the speakers so you guys can have idea what is that and you know how it works. Yeah. So guys, this is Infinity Kappa, right? Six by nine. Build quality, very, very good. This is uh, comes with the speaker grill, and this is the speaker itself. So you see, this is the material, not the paper, and not the plastic like these guys. It's total different uh, material. It's the plastic also has like a G JBL. You see, like a similar design, but let me see. Also has the filters like a JBL. You see these filters right here. So. And the connector, it's like a screw connector, but the magnet is biggest. I think they're pretty much the same with the JBL. It's a lot bigger than um, Rocket Fosgate's magnet. And Twitter, you have a switch here, the button. So, oh, JBL also has the switch. So we're gonna see how it's gonna What's be. What's going on, guys? This is seven different six by nines, bestseller and the highest rated speakers. So this is most expensive one, almost $100 for pair. This is almost $80 for pair. This is uh, around $65 for pair. This is around $50 for pair. Uh, this is $39 for pair. Uh, this guy's around $35 for pair, $32 for pair. And this one's also in uh, 40s. So this is the highest rated speakers. So what I'm gonna do, uh, these two speakers I tested already with the, each other. They're both the same company, but you know, they're different uh, performance line. I like to have the Infinity Kappa, build quality and the materials, but actually the JBL sounds performance is better. So now we're gonna run uh, Infinity Kappa with, we run each other like separate. So it's gonna be a lot of videos, like seven speakers. So it's gonna be seven or like 10 videos, each other, how they perform the bass, how they perform the tweeters and all that stuff. It's gonna be all in this channel. So we will run, I post all the, all the prices, like the details, you're gonna see like slide up and we're gonna start right now to running. Rockford Fosgate versus Infinity Kappa, $50 versus $100, so double price, the both for the pair. Also, I'm recording my uh, all the videos, like high-end microphone with the Rode, to make sure you guys get, you know, nice detailed sound, quality sound details. So let's start it. This is my uh, controllers I made. So which one I'm gonna press, that speaker will play. If I press this one, this speaker. If I press this one, this speaker plays. 
so let's go fifty dollars versus hundred dollars if you guys started you know the comment all the bullshit watch my other videos i made you know expensive speaker versus expensive jbl and all these you know cheaper speakers with the cheap ones so definitely check out my other videos also let's start it from the music <laughs> So what are you watching now? Um, Infinity Kappa made for amplified speaker. This is made for just uh, for aftermar aftermarket or the stock head units. So definitely you feel the difference between them. This is uh, Twitter is very nice and bright. Uh, mid range is like a little punchy, but the Infinity is like as I say like a lot bigger sound, like heavier sound, and uh, you feel the bass. The, nobody runs that 6 by 9s for the bass, but it's, trust me, if you're not the bass head, this speaker, the bass, if you run with the amplifier, it's going to be enough for you. But of course, some, some guys need like a fucking 10, 12 inch speakers, the like subwoofers to the bass. But regular, you know, loud, nice sound quality use, this speaker is enough. But just, the, you know, for the he aftermarket head unit, without... Uh, uh, without any amplifier, this speaker is very good. Let me play louder sound so it's gonna be a lot big difference now.
here's the deal guys uh, tweeters on this is louder significantly louder Twitter on this the balance it but uh, when I did the JBL the JBL Twitters and the mid range was louder than Kappa so check out my you know the other ones other videos so now the Twitter on Rockford Foskate <laughs> and mid range is louder but this one is a more balanced but you put the louder music, like more amplified, uh, more, more power. This one is keep opens up. So if I put the maximum volume on this, uh, th this one is gonna start, you know, cracking noise because this is made without amplified use. So this one doesn't have any kind of filters. Only filters you have. This is Prime Series, right? Exactly the same, uh, the speaker. Only filter you have for the Twitter. For the mid on the on the center, you don't have any kind of uh, filters. That's why it's like it's gonna be. If you give them garbage sound, you understand your processor like a um, stock head unit. You're gonna get. You're not gonna get like very good sound. So on these ones, on the both uh, Rocket Fast the Kappa, right? Let, let me focus this. I'm trying to focus. It. Yeah, you see the inside the filter, like hold a bunch of uh, different filters exactly same way with the kappa so you have a filters for the both uh tweeters and yeah for the both for the both tweeters and for the mids that's why it's like a very nice balanced sound beautiful sound i love the jbl jbl is the number one for now and this is another guy with the small tw uh small magnet so this also uh, the same result with these guys like you know the price range and this is the top sellers for around fifty dollars speakers uh, infinity kappa a lot of people likes this speaker a lot of people ask me to do the review and here you guys have it like I, I love the speaker how it sounds but if I choose between the JBL of course I'm my JBL is going to my truck I installed the JBLs. I have a six and a half also here. So yeah, here's the six and a half. Very soon I'm gonna do the review with a bunch of other six and a half speakers. So let me play some music, guys, so you can uh, feel. I cannot play your, you know, Justin Bieber or whatever your, you know, Britney Spears or <laughs> your bullshit, you know, the favorite artist. But the, these all the sounds I'm playing is like a mid-range, bass, tweets, and you know, all kind of different kind of tweets. That's why I'm playing these, these sounds, these these musics. <laughs> see that <laughs> on the kappa you feel all the curves every single details 
on the same spot. I mean, uh, the on the middle, the, like a uh, mid bases and the deep bases, everything is like a bright and coming with the with the label. On this one, uh, you have a mid mid base is punchy, and but Twitter is loud. Uh, if you like more electronic musics, for example, like uh, how's it called uh, dubsteps, uh, a lot of you know trans. This speaker is good. If you listen a lot of raps of course you know the trap this speaker is gonna bring you a lot of voice uh, and you know the mid-range is also very detailed and the bass is very heavy like you feel the like moving object like a sub subwoofer right it's like feel the, all the vibration like all the time when the music's plays on this one you don't feel the vibration because it's material is light or you know the speaker design but on this one, yeah, the music is placed, but you feel the music is placed, like vibration all the time is coming uh, from the speaker. The sound, uh, the voice a lot nicer on this, um, the Infinity Kappa, but this one is also not bad, like really good speaker for the price. And again, if you don't, if you don't want to spend a lot of money for the amplifying, installation, all the crap, don't, sp don't waste your time on, on this speaker. Don't waste your money on this speaker. Better just get, you know, the nice head unit and these four of these speakers or two for the doors or whatever you install for the back deck. This speaker is amazing for the, you know, without amplifier usage. If you want to use this, uh, these speakers like these or JBL, it doesn't matter. So you, you got to invest some money. The speakers itself, 100 bucks for pair. And, you know, you're going to get another 100 bucks for six, six and a half. And you need the amplifier installation, all that stuff. But this one, you just perfectly replaced your garbage uh, stock speakers and this already gonna bring you a lot of better, like 80% better sound over uh, the stock speakers. So here's my conclusion for a lot of uh, trap music, uh, digital music, dubsteps, all that stuff. This is perfect speaker for the price. These or either one, these or the Scar Audio. These also, you know, the very nice speakers. But these big guys with the big price, uh, definitely you need to invest some money, some time, and for amplifier, all that stuff. Alright, 
guys comment below which one you're running which one you like better and the what speaker you want to hear more and you know i'm gonna do some uh, more videos now we're gonna move next so we'll see next comparison it's gonna be um other speakers